Basically, once, uh, once we've identified that this was an uh, aortic dissection, uh, he needs to get to the operating room immediately, and that's basically uh, what we arranged. Uh, anesthesia is right on ball right away, gets him back to the operating room, gets him off to sleep, and that's when we start to repair. So basically, what we need to do is be able to reestablish blood flow completely in the, the, the true lumen of the blood vessel where it's supposed to be and not allow it to get into those outer layers. So we do a combination of uh, a procedure where we cool his body down to a very cold temperature, we put him on a heart-lung machine, and then start a cooling process. Because at some point in time, I'm going to have to cut off the blood supply to his entire body. Uh, including his brain and uh, you can't tolerate that at a normal temperature. So we kind of mimic the scenario of where you know you'll hear these kids that fall through the ice, they're underwater for half an hour, you bring them out and then rewarm them and they wake up normally. We recreate that scenario in the operating room so we cool the body down to a very cold temperature and then that, that allows me to shut off all the blood to his body for a short period of time so I can replace a, the upper segment of that uh, blood vessel that's torn and then I also replace a portion of the, of the portion of where it goes down his body with a, a, a particular type of a graft. Uh, and then once, uh, once we get to all that uh, new graft sewn in there then we uh, close everything up and start rewarming and then uh, eventually de detach him from the uh, heart-lung machine. But the, it, it's critical that you get him to a cold temperature and then you get the graft sewn in as fast as you can because the longer you're underwater for that kid, the less likelihood he is to wake up normally. And the same thing whenever I to turn the machine off, we've only got so much time to have a perfect result like this. When I woke up, I was like in disbelief that this had happened because I've never had any heart issues. In fact, I've always, you know, everything's been fine with my heart. And then I realized, you know, my heart was, it's my aorta that was, it wasn't, my heart's fine. I, I, I mean, it's my aorta coming off my heart's what blew out, you know, but it was, it was a lot of disbelief, you know, that this had happened because I do try to, you know, work out and take, stay in good shape. and. I live a healthy lifestyle. I swim, we walk, do everything, but uh, it was just kind of like a disbelief.